Hello everybody and welcome. Yes, another Kerbal Space Program update has been released, this time 1.12.2 and it now concludes basically the feature update that <laughs> was promised in 1.12 because some of the features didn't make it in there and now they're here. So what are they? Well, there are some new part variants and some new visual upgrades to two engines, namely the Reliant and the Swivel engines who still have the old visual style up until 1.12. You see here the Reliant with its new very funky engine bell. And here is the Swivel, which looks a, lit, uh, a lot more agreeable in my opinion. Uh, but you can also see it has three variants. The one with the shroud, the one with a truss mount and then just a bare bones version that can fit actually to a 0.625 meter tank. So there's another thing that changed, so the senior docking port now has the option to remove those yellow and black stripes on the side. Unfortunately, they don't do it for the normal sized docking ports, which is, well, a bit inconsistent, but yeah. The main thing that was missing in the 1.12 update was the ground anchor. And this is a part that promises to anchor stuff to the ground of a planet of a moon or any other planetary body. So how does it work? Well in order to try it out I decided to just do a simple rover and just dock it to that ground anchor once I place it on the ground. And this is just me just building that rover. First I thought I make a lot of wheels then I decided against that and did a lot less wheels. What I did uh, add though of course is an inventory container to add some of the ground anchors and some structural parts so I could build a docking port for this vehicle on the ground. And of course we are going to need an engineer for that because only an engineer can construct outside of the VAB or space plane hangar. So let's try that out. Here we are with our rover and our engineer is now picking up the part but unfortunately we have a parachute and a uh, an EVA pack which are in combination with the ground anchor too much so you have to get rid of both of those which could be problematic more of that later and then you can go and place the ground anchor and you might notice that I'm doing a bit of a blunder here because in my opinion this is something to construct so I went into the construction mode just picked it up and put it on the ground and I thought that was that. Well that's a mistake on my part. Also I forgot that I had to reduce gravity in order for these girder segments to be placed on Kerbin because they're too heavy in that kind of gravity so we're going to remedy that right about now. Okay, we have placed the two girder segments so that the docking port is on the correct height here. Or on the other side. Well, it doesn't really matter, but either way I have to, I have to drive the rover around to make it fit, but there we go. Then I... <laughs> you're going to see me here realize my mistake. Uh, yeah, first of all my construction kicked back. And it also wobbled, which I thought, well, that's not right. And yeah, sure enough, I did it wrong. You have to place the ground anchor from the inventory and not from the construction menu. So yeah, a little bit to think about, similar to how you place ground science when you are using the breaking ground expansion DLC. And once you placed it correctly, then yes, the actual anchoring is starting. And now this is a fixed part on the ground. So let's, let's do the entire building thing again. One girder, second girder, and then the docking port. So once we did that, then we can try it actually out. So what I did, I, I drove the rover as close as I deemed prudent to my construction and then I used the engineer to align the docking port so it has the correct height. Unfortunately, that did not really work. Wonder why? Uh, but it resulted in some weird mating ritual. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, let's continue with the correct uh, way of doing things here. Once I tried it again on the launch pad, not the launch pad, on the runway, it worked flawlessly. So this rover is now firmly connected to the ground and is not going anywhere. You can see it spin its wheel, but it's not going anywhere because that mount is holding it back. I also tried undocking it and docking it again, maybe to recreate that weird thing I experienced uh, earlier. But in this case, it behaved as it should. And that was that. But there's something else I wanted to try out. And here's old Shadow Zone explaining you what I meant from my KSP 1.12 video. I'm not sure if this will finally enable us to build a hanging base from one of the moon archers without cheats or mods, but there is only one way to find out. Wait until that part is available and then experiment with it. See how well it can keep things grounded. So here we are at the moon arch and it's the same moon arch as in that previous video. Just the sun is in a different position, that's why the lighting is, is all different and the shadows and stuff. So here is my little lander and I have brought a lot of things. And because I brought a lot of things, I can't place the jetpack anymore into my storage container. So I had to get creative and I just attached a panel to the lander because why not? So it's out of the way, I can put the jetpack in and then I could, can put the ground anchor to my engineer. I wanted to put it on the side or below of the arch, but that's not possible. The ground anchor has to be laid down on the ground and you have to wait until those anchor parts are actually drilling themselves into the surface for it to work. What I'm trying here is trying to rotate it in, in the position that it might work or my, I, I could put it on the side, but well, as you see in a few in a few seconds, that is not uh, met with a lot of success from the game, to put it mildly. And yeah, here we go. <laughs> Goodbye, ground anchor. You can you can anchor the ground down there if you like, or you can just explode as you hear now. Boom. <laughs> okay. As I said, good thing I brought more than one, because I thought, well, something like that might happen. Always good to have redundancy. So here we're going to try that out again. So let's, let's, let's choose a less slopey part of the moon arch. And yeah, it's not sliding down and it's drilling itself into the surface. So that's looking promising. Now it's time to build something onto that. And therefore, I'm going to use those structural panels. Uh, yeah, this is this is a bit of a mess because the lander is a bit too far away for, for the engineer to really reach uh, over there. But in the end, with a little bit of shuffling stuff around, I managed to do that just fine. But this is not the correct orientation, of course. We want to uh, step out of the moon arch, so to speak. We we want to get into the air and observe the magnificence of the landscape of the moon. Kind of an observation platform, landing platform, call it what you want. Invent something yourself what you want to build there, if you want to build something there. I'm pretty sure many of you will want to try that out for yourself. But first we have to get a nice flat platform for everything else to attach. And once that initial piece is in place, here we go in our speedrun build. Yep, I sped this up a little bit so you didn't have to suffer through everything that I did in my old man speed. Okay, and then something curious happened because... <laughs> Watch that curve closely. As soon as I step onto the first panel that I added to the ground anchor, well, the kerbal just vanished through it, or just passed through it, and then I hit my head somewhere, and Bill just tumbled down uncontrollably. Which spelled no good things for him. Again! After that unfortunate disaster, we fortunately had a quick save that we did earlier, and could return to the build. So. Interestingly, once I loaded the game, 
Those panels were solid as a rock and I could step on them without a problem. So keep that in mind when, you, when you're going to build stuff. Some weird things can happen. Now that that was out of the way, it was a really a breeze to build that thing out here. And look at that, we have our observation platform on the side of the moon arch. It is not completely on the level that I want to have things up here, because I want to do something here. I, I, I really have a plan for that. You've seen that weird contraption in the in the video earlier. The, uh, that's, that's, going to, that's going to go here someday. But first, let's try out how stable that is, how much weight it can take. Can it take the few tons of the lander without breaking? And, well, there is some wobbling, but this is mostly due to the landing legs hanging on the side over there. Once I moved the lander with some RCS thrust to the side, everything looked fine. So here it is, yes, you can now build stuff on the Moon Arch and it's going to be fun to see what you guys come up with in the future and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here also once I find the time to do so. So this is it, this is Kerbal Space Program 1.12.2 with the ground anchor and some part variants and the developers are now transitioning to Kerbal Space Program 2, the sequel that we can hopefully try out next year. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.